If you love NVIDIA stock, then why not play the leverage ETF, NVDL? Um, double leverage here. We got in today, first time buying this ETF, first time in NVIDIA. Uh, we got in today around 1245 at $48.18. Uh, which is right here, 48.18. Uh, it did run down. I thought it was close to the bottom. It's been going up and down all day. It did dip and then it came back, recovered, and um, so down today. But uh, after market, AMD did report and they had good earnings. Uh, so this stock, so um, the NVDL uh, double leverage ETF, Nvidia ETF, did uh, bounce up. 9% uh, in the aftermarket hours here. Um, that's at 624. Uh, so we should expect a run, I think, tomorrow as well. And we'll see if we're going to sell it tomorrow or maybe we'll just hold on for a few days and see kind of where it bounces. Uh, looking at this ETF, <clears throat> I mean, it was up in the 80s just earlier this this month. So it can make a big move. It can go from 50 to 80 here really quickly. Uh, so that's what I think we're going to try to do. Uh, we'll see if we can pull it off. Um, but today, yeah, finally got in. And um, let's take a quick listen to the CEO of NVIDIA. And then we'll follow that up with um, the bull case. Uh, <laughs> the bull case uh, for NVIDIA going forward. So uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks. The ability to endure pain and suffering is called grit, G-R-I-T. Grit. It is one. It is now recognized as one of the most important characteristics of successful people. And so, I wish upon you a lifelong. <laughs> Plenty of clean pain and suffering. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you with us. Hey, Tyler. Great to be here. Is what's been going on in, we sort of touched on it with Karen a moment ago, is what's been going on with uh, NVIDIA a kind of expectable phenomenon, something we've seen before? So an investor who is in there for the ride and goes, oh boy, we were down 15% last week. This, this, is, this the, is this the end of the game here? Am I, should I be out of it? What's going on here? Well, I think that NVIDIA has these moves intra-quarter where people find themselves underweight and they have to catch up and then it runs and then there's all sorts of things. This last week there was a rebalance and I think a lot of people were playing that and then it kind of unwound and it created a big move. But in general, NVIDIA has nailed the full stack approach. The only thing that I've experienced like this is, pro well, maybe two things, maybe, maybe the Wintel monopoly of the 90s or duopoly, whatever they were, and then Apple getting the iPhone. And the full stack approach, when people nail it, when a company nails it, is able to uh, generate a disproportionate share of the profits for that sector. And in their case, some people argue it's like all the profits. Well, that, that sounds like you're describing the word we used earlier, and that is ecosystem. That yeah. they have built it, they own it, it is their game to lose. That's right. What they or did, win. well, the foresight that they had is, is unparalleled. They, they, uh, you know, that's why we were kind of laughing when they, I, some people asked me, are they being investigated? Like, for what? For foreseeing the biggest tech change ever and, you know, they should be punished? <laughs> but, okay. But what they did is they, they built a language, a computing language, and an ecosystem that allows you to monetize AI. And, uh, you know, obviously they're killing it. And um, I think that people, uh, this is probably got the most upside of the MAG-7 that, that we cover.